the first spring ever where you go in as just knowing, okay, I'm the number one guy. Um, I guess what's that feeling like? Uh, you know, it's it's nice. It's uh, you know, a little relaxing, reassuring, I guess. Um, uh, you know, it gives me an opportunity to really you know, pick out things and work on things instead of you know doing everything I can to be perfect every day because it's practice. You don't need to be. Um, but you know, it gives me an opportunity to you know work things, work timing, maybe throw it earlier than I'm used to, maybe throw it earlier than I'm comfortable with. Um, you know, just to build that kind of chemistry and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, I think that's one thing that's really positive for me. I think Coach Chris made it pretty clear like, from the first practice that you were going to be the number one guy. When you met with him, at what point did he tell you that? Um, you know, it was never really, it was never really, I guess, said. Um, it was just kind of, kind of preferred maybe. Just, you know, we kind of, you know, I've got a lot of experience. I've played here a lot. Um, you know, I've been, I've been through a lot with different coaching changes and, you know, position battles and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I think he's just kind of, you know, we just kind of see eye to eye on that again. Uh, John Budmeyer's been, you know, helping out the quarterbacks <laughs> a lot, kind of allowing, you know, Paul to kind of roam around. Is he sort of like another position coach out there to you guys? Yeah, um, you know, he's done a really good job kind of, you know, he's a, he's a great guy who I like to go to just, you know, personally go up and meet with him one-on-one. -on -one. He knows the game very well. He knows his offense very well. Um, you know, he's been in it for you know, four years, five years, whatever it's been. So, you know, he's really got a good feel for it, and he's a great resource um, for me and all the quarterbacks to really learn from. Is it a little strange? He used to be your teammate, right? Yes. A little strange to have a coach that used to be your teammate? Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, you know, it's not – it's it's different, I guess. You know, you don't have that same – I wouldn't say, you know, level of respect because obviously I, you know, I have a lot of respect for him and everything that he's done, everything he's been through. Um, but it, it's different. You don't have that same kind of formality, I guess, when you're with a coach. It's almost like you're with another player. It's just a guy who really knows the game well, knows the position well, and you know he's a tremendous you know resource to learn from. What are kind of your you know, impressions of the wide receiver group so far this year? I think we've really taken steps in the right direction. I think uh, you know I think Rob has looked really good. Alex has looked good. Uh, Reggie Love, Jazz Peavy. I think they've all really looked good. Um, you know, so I think we got some really good players, and uh, we just need to continue to, you know, continue to work it, continue to give them catchable balls, and give them an opportunity to make plays, and uh, you know, really build not only that chemistry but that confidence with the quarterbacks and the wide receivers. Um, because I mean, when you get that going, it's really tough to stop. Is it nice to have a guy like Alex, who you know is coming in as the number one guy, or at least was last year? Was yeah. To rely on. Yeah, I think Alex has been a really dependable player for the past two years. Um, you know, he always knows what he's doing. He's got a great feel for the defense, where to get in and out of his breaks and things like that. Um, you know, and he's got very reliable hands. So, you know, I really appreciate the, you know, the way that he comes to work every day and, uh, you know, the, the option that he gives me. I've noticed, uh, you know, Rob's getting those, uh, you know, those first team reps along with Alex. Do you, would you kind of, do you view Rob as sort of like a breakout candidate this year? Yeah, I think, you know, I think Rob is, I think he's always been a really good player. Um, uh, you know, he's never really had that opportunity. Um, but that's what we're working on this year. We're just, you know, a lot of it's just you see a one-on-one, -on -one, just throw it. Just, you know, just work them, work them, and make sure, you know, make them make plays, make you make throws, things like that. Um, so, you know, I think that's something that Rob's really done a good job of is making plays in one-on-ones. When you look at last season, um, such an unusual year for you, mm -hmm. does it almost seem like 